strutting her stuff in a hot new album. The Easton's changing her tune. Plus. Sizzling hot Sheena Easton on Entertainment Tonight. On Entertainment Tonight. The pop music jungle. I'm out of Scotland since Rod Stewart. And even though her last album received little notice, it was what Sheena wanted to do. In her new album, No Sound But a Heart, Easton carries on the tradition of satisfying herself. Scott Osborne discovered what Sheena wants is never what you expect. an advanced glimpse of the latest Sheena Easton look. Yes, nice. She got a little. Good. She's posing for publicity stills and a new poster. My situation now is kind of coming out of a mild slump. <laughs> um, the last album stiffed. You know, mm -hmm. it like went down the tube. Do you, do you, do you? While many singers strive to achieve a single image, Sheena works hard at being the record industry's chameleon. As proof of her versatility, she's the only artist ever to have a top five hit on all the major charts. Pop, R&B, country, dance, and adult contemporary. So, what's next? It's late enough in my career now, it's like eight albums down the line, and people know that I can sing pop rock, people know that I can do dance stuff. It's not like I have to prove anything anymore. And they know that I've not exactly been pinned down to any style in the past. The only one for me, together for me, eternity. The new album, No Sound But A Heart, is completely made up of ballads and mid-tempo songs. Now, is it possible that with your wide-ranging interests that perhaps you've um, not done yourself a great service by, by being so flexible? Who knows? You know? I mean, people may not know what to expect. Yeah, but then they don't get bored, and at least I'm known for being a singer as opposed to being a gimmick, as opposed to being someone whose records are just great pieces of production. I'm an artist, you know, I, I started off as a singer when I was 17 to sing good songs and make good records, not just to make money and not just to have hits. Don't get me wrong, hits are important, but if I had to do music that pleased somebody else just to have a hit and do something that felt right for me, that maybe wasn't so big, I think I would always stick to what was right for me. Well, one of the right things for Easton has been her collaboration with Prince. Two years ago, he wrote her top ten hit, Sugar Walls. And the purple one has also written Easton's new single, Eternity. She'll start touring with material from the new album later this month. 